Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve this problem 4.40 from Sadiku book. So, the question is find the Thevenin equivalent at terminals AB of the circuit in this figure here. So, we need to find out two things here. The first one is to find out the open circuit voltage at AB or that will be the Thevenin voltage or VTH. And in this case, that will equal to VAB, right? And then the second one is to find out the Thevenin resistance. And these things will be a little bit complicated because we have a dependent voltage source. But there is uh, nothing that we can do from here. Just do it. So now let's now first find out the VAB first. And this is already in open circuit. And let's just use this bottom most ground here as our ground node so the voltage here will be zero and we just need to find out this va here but then if this is our ground this node here is 70 volt from the ground and then this node here is 4 v0 away from the ground 4 v0 away from the ground and now we can do KCL at VA here, okay? And this is the current that goes in. Maybe let's assume this is the current that goes out. Let's do KCL at VA. KCL at VA. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, the only current that goes in is this one. So I will have 70 minus VA divided by the resistance between them which is 10 kilo ohm and then the only current that goes out is this one so we will have what is it uh, VA minus 4 V0 divided by 20 good uh, now let's multiply both sides by 20 to cancel out the denominator 10 and 20 will cancel into 2 so we will have 140 minus 2 VA I mean that is not capital A and then 20 and 20 will cancel each other so I will have VA minus 4 V0 so maybe let's make it like this minus 2 VA plus VA is 3 VA and then we will have minus 4 V0 and I rewrite this 140 on the right hand side but we have two variables here now we need to find out what is V0 okay V0 is basically the difference between this and this right so in this case we will have V0 is equal to 70 minus VA. We can just plug in this variable here into this one. So I'll have 3 VA minus 4 and then that will be 70 minus VA and I will have 140 on the right hand side and we will have 3 VA minus 4 multiplied by 70 is what is it minus 120 no minus 180 minus 280 my english is fucked up minus 4 and then minus va that will be plus 4 va and i will have 140 there 3 plus 4 is 7 so i'll have 7 va and then 140 plus 280 that will be 420 i think yeah okay so we will have va is equal to 16 volt and that's good because p is the ground so we will have vab is equal to va which is good because we have the value of va therefore we will have the Thevenin value here. So we will have VTH is equal to 64. 
Okay, that's good because our mission complete for the first thing that we need to find out for this one. And we need to find out the Tevenin resistance. Okay, now let's clean up the board for that. Okay, the second step that we need to do is we need to find out the Tevenin resistance here. Okay, so we need to turn off this 74 voltage source. So we need to replace it by short circuit. Okay, let's draw the short circuited one here. So we draw it like this. But then we have this dependent voltage source. We need a source for that. So we replace this with a voltage source here that will be one volt okay maybe let's let's use this as our ground here and we need to find out this i here so we need to find out i here let's name this i1 maybe so the tevenin resistance is uh the voltage here so we will have VAB which is 1 volt divided by the current here which is I1 so I1 is unknown from this point right and that is our task to find out okay maybe let's assume the other current here so we will have it go there maybe have it go there and this is not A right because this is the ground and this is not A so we can just do KCL at node VA, right? And we need to find out I1. Okay, that is good. I1 is the only current that goes in and all the other currents is going out. So I1 is equal to VA minus 0 divided by 10. So we have VA minus 0 divided by 10 and then that will equal to I mean plus VA minus 4 V0 divided by 10 okay now VA is this voltage source right so VB is equal to 0 therefore VA is equal to one volt so we can just plug one into this one so i'll have i1 is equal to one minus zero that will be one over ten and then plus one minus four v zero but what is v zero v zero is the difference between this node here zero and then this node here one so we can just plug that so we will have zero minus 1 and that will be divided by 10 good now what is i1 i1 is equal to 1 over 10 and then plus 1 plus 4 i think which is 5 so we'll have 5 over 10 good oh that is not 10 this is 20 yeah, I made mistakes there. So this is 20, not 10. 
yeah, 20. This is 20 and this is 20. So what is I1? I1, I maybe just use calculator to make things easier. So we'll have 1 over 10 and then plus 5 over 20. Okay, that should be 7 over 12. 7 over 12. <coughs> no, 7 over 20. But then the Thevenin resistance is 1 over I1. So we can just flip this. Therefore, we will have 20 over 7. And what is the Thevenin resistance then? The Thevenin resistance is 20 divided by 7. And that is 2.857. 2.857. And the unit is kilo ohm. Right? Because this is kilo ohm. And so we can just draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit. Which is a 60 volt here. And then that will be 2.857. And the unit is kilo ohm here. And this is the node A. And this one is the node B. Hopefully I did not make any mistakes in this calculation. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.